Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Dunn and I am here to talk to you guys about drawing a portrait. So we're going to draw a very simple portrait. A portrait is a drawing of someone else. Next thing that we need to know about drawing a portrait is that it needs to be in proportion. We can't have your facial features all over the place. This isn't a Picasso that we're doing, we are doing a true to life portrait. So what is proportion? Well, proportion is the size of the object. So in this case, the head in the relationship of other objects on that head. So we're going to have some guidelines that we're going to use to help us draw our features. So they're in the correct spots on our face. We're going to start and very lightly, I have drawn an oval for the head. I've drawn two lines that come down closer to the ends for the neck, and I've drawn some shoulders. Something to note, we're not doing little skinny pencil necks. We need to have those lines go out wide for your neck, and your shoulders aren't just little humps that come down. They're actually pretty wide. Your shoulders are wider than your head. Now for our facial proportion lines, very lightly, because. We want to erase this, so draw light till you got it right. We're going to draw a line that divides that oval in half vertically. This is so we know where the center of our face is vertically. We are then going to find the halfway point horizontally, and we are going to draw a line horizontally. This line is actually where our eyes are on our face. We're going to take another horizontal line and from our eye line down to our chin we're going to draw another line that divides that in half another horizontal line and that line is actually going to be the end of our nose so that's where our nose is going to end also these two lines help us determine where our ears are going to be on our head one more line we're going to draw is another horizontal line that divides the area or the space between the nose line and the chin. And this is generally where your mouth will be. All right, so here, let me just go and draw that other ear in there. And we're ready to draw the features. So I'm gonna start with the eyes. This line represents the middle of the eye. So I'm going to draw just a circle on either side of my vertical line for my eyes. I am then going to cover that circle with a curved line and a line that goes straight across. Now this circle represents the eyeball. Now we're drawing the eyelids. And I'm going to draw the iris of the eye, that's the colored part of your eye, and the pupil. The pupil is the part of your eye that can contract or expand to let light in so you can see things. The next thing I want to do is draw the nose. Now I always start drawing a nose with another circle. That represents the ball of your nose. I know that sounds weird. I've never seen a ball on my nose before, but guess what? You do have one and it's the tip of your nose. So here's the ball of your nose. And then to the side, I'm going to draw two smaller ovals that represent the nostrils. And then I'm just going to cover that with some lines. This line represents the outside of your nostril. I'm going to darken this line here. And that's pretty much, boys and girls, how you draw your nose. Okay, very simple. The next step that we're going to do is the mouth. When I draw a mouth, and I'm going to draw my mouth here, I'm going to put a heart. I know that sounds a little strange, but that's just how I do it. I'm drawing a heart. Now that heart 
is the center of your mouth. And then I put some wings on my heart. These wings show the sides of my mouth and the lips. And then I'm just gonna draw a line right in the center. Now the hairline. Now the hairline, we don't draw hair that just comes right up here. That's a humongo forehead. I'm gonna draw a line here that's very loose representation of a hairline. Thank you boys and girls for watching this video. Can't wait to see how your portraits come out.